such an issue because uh, because it is something that can be shared with many different countries in Latin America because we share the same social problem. We share a lot of uh, common common situations, including religion, inclusion, the same language that we speak, including the same history. What happens in Peru is going to have a great repercussion, a, a great echo in Argentina, Bolivia, Venezuela, Colombia, uh, Bolivia, and Chile. And they are going to monitor that a group of professionals are giving uh, resources to inmates in order to become uh, better human beings. Uh, in a holistic way, they are going to practice sports they are going to use technology in their benefit, and at the same time, they are going to develop spiritual uh, enhancement because uh, we think that these three different points are going to make a unique, uh, beneficial uh, impact. Since you are professionals, um, right now we want to start with the mediation and conciliation courses since they need to live in harmony. There are different games, there are different groups, there are different uh, kind of people that by having this uh, wonderful program, they are going to solve their differences in the most convenient way, uh, avoiding violence, avoiding uh, criminal attempts or things that are going to create more problems inside the correctional center. So, okay. Enrique, this essentially is a pilot project to, right. to work with this one institution, and then the hope is to then spread that across the whole of South America in all the other institutions and hope to lead by example, right? Yes, yes. yes. Okay. okay, thank uh, you. Now, now well, I, I had put together some of this uh, pictorially, so uh, go through the questions that you're asking, Katie. Uh, the idea was going to be Sorry. is that we're going to run it through the Global Scholars Diploma Program, which is part of the World Affairs Council of Austin. That's what he was talking about. And we use the title Civility Academy, which is going to be uh, Jesse's deal. He'll talk about. And we're going to start out with mediation training courses. Okay. Uh, let me try to see if I get. Okay. Now, uh, the first thing that we were going to do is to do that 40 hours of mediation training with the um, uh, staff or the educators or the whatever they decide to do. And that was going to be done remotely through, uh, we have this, uh, in. I have this in English here, but it's going to be in Spanish as well. Uh, I'm sending uh, the stuff to Enrique today in, in Spanish. But they have booklets, they have materials, and you can use in, anything that you have. That would be our first part of the training. Uh, why is this academy? What will it do for you? It's a success of basics that you can succeed uh, to become a fully productive citizen, both now and forever. They have a real situation in which they're having difficulty inside uh, for the three or four years that they stay there. And also uh, a, a very good chance, a 60, 70% chance that they will commit more crimes. And if we could lower that rate down and, and change, we're gonna change the whole society and really help out, help out the individual. Uh, you'll notice that we're, we stress personal development courses. And once, once they get from here, uh, and then the teachers will teach them a introduction mediation class, which will be supported by some of your interns that are speaking Spanish and we're gonna be working with them three days a week. Uh, so we'll have Spanish speaking interns that be working with them for three days a week with their uh, educators, plus getting all the materials and stuff from us. Okay, courses for continuing education afterwards. So in other words, what Enrique was saying is, that, okay, they like this program really well. Uh, some of these people can do uh, mediation. Uh, we're going to be looking at a couple things, and let me just kind of go through that real quickly. 
One would be uh, the first course we put everybody through would be a conflict resolution course, because obviously uh, that's going to be the most important thing. Here we show a sample of a a, a woman, uh, a woman teacher who's actually been teaching for 20 something years, breaking up a, a pretty violent uh, thing that happened in Florida about four months ago. It appeared on TMZ, so it was kind of interesting. But uh, you don't want to end up, uh, you don't want it all to go to the fighting part. And you see, you want to be able to uh, do that before, just a second. Okay, next one, training for life, uh, conflict resolution. And here you got a little picture of Jesse, and this would be the uh, conflict resolution class that we have. This is a cover for the PDF. Uh, I put it kind of comical, it's also in Spanish. Mediation, Mediation. trust. Trust building. Uh, this would be a class that you, you they could learn how to do that. Uh, mastering mediation, international mediation, uh, remote re mediations. Uh, what is going to be kind of interesting is that, especially if we take this to different countries, we could have uh, people in in one area helping out other people in another area, which is actually pretty good. Mediation training, family mediation, arbitration. Arbitration is going to be a, a very big uh, issue, especially in South America. There are there are some really issues with uh, large companies coming in and basically taking up all the ecosystems. Uh, businesses being totally uh, uh, off. Uh, United States and some of their trade policies have. Uh, undermined a lot of the trade, especially agriculture out of Brazil. And Brazil's got a lot of lawsuits and stuff like that now against American companies and the lawsuits, uh, arbitration could be fi uh, figured out. Uh, introduction to international mediation, business mediation, mediation basics, mastering mediation in Peru. If somebody was interested, this is a 140-something page, 18-chapter uh, book. Uh, workbook on how to learn how to be a mediator in Peru. Of course, that'll all be in Spanish. Uh, Bolivian mediation. Bolivia is a, a country very close. We could have one for each of those uh, schools. Medical mediation. Um, I don't know. As our medical costs have gone up and up, and recently, uh, uh, because of my wife's and I's uh, all kinds of different uh, medical issues, the cost of uh, just doing medical procedures is horrible. So what's happening is a lot of people are going to these different countries and uh, taking a holiday and actually paying for a holiday, getting medical procedures done and uh, doing it a lot cheaper than they could do it in country. Uh, and uh, this is causing a lot more uh, mediation issues that you would even think of. Okay, credit mediation, healthcare, Real estate, environmental, I, I mentioned a bunch about uh, environmental impacts, agriculture, elder care, international training mediation, and intellectual property. Intellectual property is huge. Uh, we have some um, countries that are just stealing everyone's uh, intellectual property and redoing it. So yeah, see that. Uh, HOA, not really large there, but huge here in the States. In fact, uh, uh, housing, Authority can take over somebody's house if you don't pay your HOA dues. A peer mediation. This would be good with conflict resolution to where we could end up with restitution circles or whatever you want to try to do. And they would have this. This would be another course that we could probably get every single person into. So my suggestion would be if we do the three courses to look at the mediation uh, training for the uh, professionals and then go into the um, um, uh, the the peer mediation and the conflict resolution, and then have everyone do peer mediation and conflict resolution, and then we'd take uh, Enrique was suggesting like we take twenty of the students or whatever the the people that were really interested and put them through the other courses and stuff too. But this would give them uh, plenty of opportunity. Uh, it would be able to be reproduced uh, in the respect that you guys could use it through your like your internships and stuff like that, because we're going to be working with Stephanie and, and some of the other people uh, uh, that are, are Spanish speakers in, in that area. 
and that's why I invited him on the call today. Uh, and this will really make a, a big difference of change. Uh, th this is a, a pretty ambitious uh, idea, but it, it has such a great upside because uh, I think you're really going to change behaviors. And it's very seldom do you ever get on the ground floor of changing behaviors with teenagers that will really make a difference, not only in their life, but you know, in the life of society as we see it in the future. So um, the, the idea of conflict, the idea of peer, the idea of teaching mediation, and then go to 20 or so or a, a small part of it, and then we work out how we'll do that. But it can be done on an individual. These are based with, uh, you know, workbooks, chapter, uh, tests, uh, you know, and we work with the government to get the certifications and stuff like that, too. So they, they would help us out all the way around. That will probably give you a little bit better idea. And then I had made a couple of videos. Uh, the best I could see, I'll try to share. Do you have any questions over any of that stuff, Enrique or uh, Katie or or anyone? Oh, here's one. You shouldn't okay, need good. to ask. You know, I'm always going to have a question, Michael. Yeah, yeah. And go, some of this yeah. might be for our discussion um, later. But yeah, yeah, that's so these I... These are my initial questions, um, which tell me to deal with them later if you want but so the first question that comes to mind is can we consider taking the kind of three-day model that we're proposing for Austin to Peru with all the initial work beforehand being the lead up to it you don't need to answer the questions now but these are just kind of for, for thought the funding of the project which I think you just covered where that would come from the arbitration model I just wanted to know who would teach that and um I'm so excited. I'm literally with you on this, Michael, but I feel like we need to really find a focus of where we need to start and perfect that before we start expanding because there's an awful lot. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, you've done, yeah. No. You, you've done typical Michael and you've covered all bases, but I, I feel like let's start with it being small and then right, move right. to okay. promoting well, let, let the Let me other try bits. go over because let, let's try to discuss that other stuff Saturday because that can be like behind the scenes type of stuff. Yeah. But the, the idea was to from in my feeble mind the idea would be this we could start out with uh, training uh, the tra training the educators about this new neat program and training them to be a um, uh, a mediator okay so you're basically training them to uh, go through your like your old master class or whatever like that okay and then we would utilize those people with some augmentation from other help and some other people to uh, go through and help teach the other two courses we're talking about, peer mediation and um, a conflict resolution. Uh, I feel like that would be, we could do that for everyone, rotate it in their regular, regular schedule, and that would work out pretty well. The other classes we're talking about are really after we would go through this. So this would probably take, you know, six months or whatever time that we would have, but everyone would go through that. I just kind of want to show everyone the, the whole thing at first and then kind of cut it back. Does that make sense? I hope. Because I, I've been thinking about this for a long period of time. This actually makes makes a, a lot of sense, and and uh, uh, hopefully, I don't want to rush. And I uh, love the Michael. I love the idea of the peer mediation because it has such an impact. Oh yeah, um, yeah. On on kids, and I think that would be probably the most impactful um, that they could get, apart from having you know, some maybe one-to-one -one support with, with all of this and maybe being able to, Jesse and I talked when we went to Austin about mediation, practicing mediation almost being like our own therapy. And mm -hmm. I think that that's what the kids are going to find. So I love that idea. Yeah, I, I think that what we're trying to do is try and give them some help now. You're trying to give them some help later on and you can even help get people a job somewhere. Because, you know, realistically speaking, if you can't get, somebody's already got a strike against them and they're already coming out of a detention center and if they can't find a job and, and they have to turn to crime. And in, in some of these cases, crime is, is so, is so uh, I mean, it's about a 90% chance you're gonna to turn to crime. But if we could show people that, okay, you've gone through this, you can 
you can do that. You have some abilities to do it remotely. Uh, Spanish is is a language where so many people are, are needing help. And, you, and, you, and like Enrique is talking to us today, Juan's talking to us today. Uh, you can live in Lima and uh, navigate all the world. Maybe we could save several people from uh, doing it. And uh, th this is great. You know, so th this is a long term uh, type of approach to to do to help. I, and since they're already there anyways, and this would be kind of like an elective for them, or this would be like one of their uh, career type of uh, goals, would be working with the government, working with the Department of Education and the Justice Department, Justice Ministry there to try to see about, okay, we're advocating some curriculum that would actually change because instead of just learning something out of a textbook, we're, we're trying to teach them real life, real skills right now that they can apply and no one's really doing that to help them out. And textbooks aren't going to give them a job and they're going to end up going back to crime. We're here to change the world. Does that sound good? Yeah. Okay. Uh, any other questions? I, I think I go but more on, on, on Saturday. We're having a meeting on Rick Saturday to kind of flush out all these ideas. But uh, uh, go, ahead. go ahead. In a second, I have a problem here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-twenty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-nineteen, forty-twenty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-ten, forty-eleven, forty-twelve, forty-thirteen, forty-fourteen, forty-fifteen, forty-sixteen, forty-seventeen, forty-eighteen, forty-n
Is he still there? Yeah, he's still there. <laughs> he's going in and out a little bit. Hey, Jesse, you have any questions or anything so far? Well, no, actually, uh, I'm sitting back. I'm listening. I'm kind of like, uh, you know, Katie, making sure that, you know, we I'm listening right now, taking notes uh, on trying, you know, to map out a place where we start. Um, yeah. And and thus far, I like everything that I'm hearing, uh, you know, and as far as the course design, you know, we can talk about that later. Right. And then, also, you know, when we uh, when we talk about the strategic plan, mm -hmm. uh, we can meet and talk about this actual project uh, uh, later, uh, separate from the strategic plan. But thus far, everything he's talking about sounds great. Everything that's going on sounds great. Okay. I, I've made a couple of videos to explain it a little bit better. I have one in English and one in Spanish, but uh, I'm trying to see what happened with them. Now, uh, everything would kind of be based on internet, so you, you just never know. But we have normally have had pretty good luck with uh, internet, and uh, not today it's going in and out. Okay, here we go. Here's Enrique. Okay, sure. we can't see it. I don't know if you if you you're not screen sharing. No, I'm not screen sharing. Oh, I thought you were playing a video. No. Oh, I thought that's I, what you were. I doing. was going to pull up a video, but I said I I, was, I saw Enrique come back and Enrique. Oh, here. sorry. <laughs> Enrique's not saying things <laughs> while he's not doing. Prima, este Juan, estuve pasando todas las fotos de los últimos eventos que han hecho pro Nasej. Yeah. Again, did you make a question? Yeah, I, I, they don't, I'd like for them to get a little sense of what's going on there at, at the center. So you had all those really nice pictures that you sent me. Could you share some with us and so they can see? I, I have my laptop right now. Up. Okay. You, uh let, let me let me try mine then. It's no problem. Uh, uh, Juan, eh, eh, algún, algún, uh, 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 Para que ellos vean que lo que estamos viendo tiene éxito. Te escucho para traducir. Bien, sí, no hay problema. Yo puedo enviarles algunos testimonios. Yo tengo a unas eh, reportajes, eh, reportajes televisivos. Tengo recortes de el trabajo que hemos venido realizando en todo este tiempo. Enrique. Mike. Yeah, I, I can show this video. The video's got some stuff on it, and then we could, if you could look for some pictures, I'll look for some pictures while I'll show the video, okay? I just didn't want to spend everybody's time just uh, messing up. Okay, here we go. Let's see, hopefully it works. Have you can you hear? Puede de este pon el el dedo y gira la pantalla a la derecha para que veas el video que está saliendo ahí los profesores. ¿Quién está viendo? Allá, acá. No, si quieren, yo no sé si por acá puedo compartir algunas fotos. También, si si quieres te dan el host. No, para subir, no, no dice chatear, no las puedo subir, no dice chatear. No, no, tiene que ser en compartir. En compartir es una opción que él te va a pasar y tú puedes compartir ya después es... pues sí 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 pero no problema eso lo mandamos después sino que no. también no pero voy a demorar acá porque tengo el y te lo mando por WhatsApp también para hablar Sí. 
pásala nomás porque uh, yo ya. quiero que también voy a ver si puedo pasar el video de Renacer cuando este, estuviste haciendo todo el trabajo en el tiempo del COVID Espérate. pásame la foto nomás por whatsapp pues, pues eso, estoy buscando un ratito <risa> Este, uy. there's no sound to this, Michael. Yeah, I know that's what I, I just want to run it to here. I can't get the sound out right. Sorry, okay, no I'll, worries. I'm sending it. Let me just go ahead. No I can barely, I can barely see it. Got this patch for gotta go back and. I get operated on in a couple of weeks. So. Okay, here we go. This is safe. Jesse, we are waiting for your speech. Yeah. Okay, here, uh, explain to me, uh, have one explain to me what's going on here. Can you see? Mm -hmm. Jesse. Yes, sir. So all, in this picture here, are all the students, are they wear uniforms? And Yes. Okay. Yeah. That's great. Yeah. They all wear uniforms. Okay. Uh, and you're going to notice that a couple things. Okay. Go next one. Oops. Ellos tienen fotos de, de, del trabajo que hemos hecho, Chacho. Hemos mostrado oh, antes. Todo lo he pasado. Ahorita lo hemos visualizado. Todas las fotos con los chicos en... La actividad que han hecho en Mainas, con la última actividad en Baranga, y los trajes típicos, todos lo han visto. Desgraciadamente estabas en una reunión, ellos han visto la reunión que estabas sosteniendo, le dije que estabas ocupado. Pero... Ahí te he mandado chacho para que subas. Ya. Enrique, the spiritual component. Súbela, súbela, chacho. Ya, ya, ahorita, ahorita, si lo que está cargando mi máquina. Eh, Juan, Súbelo. usted puede dar alcance acerca de, aparte de lo que es disciplina deportiva, de lo que es el tratamiento psicológico, <risa> ahora ellos quieren saber cuál es el alcance que vamos a desarrollar en la parte espiritual, en la parte yeah. de desarrollo de fe. Ya, yeah. este, eh, eh, son tres, son tres eh, etapas. La primera es crear un vínculo afectivo con el joven a través de una actividad que sea motivadora. En este caso, lo que le, lo atrae al joven es el deporte. ¿no? Luego que creas ese vínculo, esa confianza, el chico tiene la apertura de poder decirte cuál fue el problema que lo llevó a delinquir, a consumir. Ya, una guay, vez guay, guay. Que... Dame un segundo. Uh, uh, Mr. Rubin says that the first and most important uh, step is to create a link with the inmate uh, by practicing sports, any sportive uh, practice. Uh, you create a special bond in which the inmate opens his heart and his mind and he starts to tell you what were the reasons for them to make this kind of crimes that has uh, made them lost their freedom. Continua, Juan. Yeah, eso es en la parte física, ¿no? Yeah. Eh, luego que el joven eh, cuenta su problema y podemos identificar qué fue lo que lo motivó a delinquir, hacemos todo un plan de tratamiento, un plan de tratamiento psicológico sobre eh, algunos un, eh, temas terapéuticos a fin de que él pueda resolver esos conflictos, pueda perdonar y sanar esas heridas. Yeah, after that they have opened a link uh, uh, with of confidence with the inmate, they have seen a psychological treatment in which uh, they receive a psychological help so they can cure they can heal their own wounds, emotional wounds. They can forgive and be forgiven. Yeah. 
And then you, this is one right here. Yeah, you can see right behind the sign. Okay. Katy está reuniendo un grupo de gente interesante que se va a sumir a la propuesta y tal. Ahí tengo los mensajes. Sube la foto, sube la foto, sube las fotos. Estoy abriendo, tengo que abrir ahorita. Está abriendo el programa. Tengo la máquina. Continúa. Aparte de la parte psicológica, por favor. La parte espiritual. Muchos de estos jóvenes no creen en Dios por toda la la experiencia de vida que han tenido y yo les don't believe in God for the sad experiences that they have in their lives entonces yo yo chacho sí te escucho ya yo les explico que toda esa experiencia es parte de nuestro son vivencias que nos que que nos toca pasar y que nos hace crecer, nos hace, nos hace crecer, que son oportunidades de un desarrollo personal y de un desarrollo espiritual, y que toda acción causa una reacción, que ellos jamás van a ser felices con el sufrimiento de otra persona, que el hecho que estén en la correccional es porque hay un Dios que los ama y les está dando la oportunidad de que puedan reflexionar y cambien el rumbo de sus vidas. Yeah, Mike. This is very important. Uh, Mr. Rubin says when he... We've lost it then, Enrique. You're on mute. You're muted. Uh, they need to accept that they are not in prison because God is punishing them. No. If they are in prison, uh, they are in the correctional center, it's because God is giving them a chance to improve their lives, to be, to be better citizens, to learn from another perspective how they can correct their lives. So sports, uh, psychology, uh, faith are the three uh, basements that Mr. Rubin develops. Deporte y psicología, tratamientos psicológicos son las tres pilares en los que están eh, el tratamiento eh, sí. corriendo. Ahora, la... ¿Quieres sí. agregar algo más? Sí, dile que muchos de estos chicos tienen eh, la autoestima muy baja, ¿no? Y no tienen factores protectores en cuanto a padres, oportunidades de estudio. Muchos, muchos de sus padres. Eh, están presos, la madre vende drogas, entonces el deporte eh, les, les, les levanta esa autoestima a través del reconocimiento que tienen por los logros deportivos, ya que así cuando ellos ganan los campeonatos de, de Muay Thai, yo les explico que, que esa experiencia los marque y que no solamente pueden ser campeón en un ring, pueden ser campeones frente a la vida, la vida es una constante lucha, y la idea es que sean campeones como seres humanos que, y así como han ganado ahí pueden ganar en otras áreas de su vida personal no ya ah, excelente muy bueno Mike eh, dear Katy and Jesse eh, Mr Rubin says that uh, he put a lot of emphasis in the practice of sports especially mud five uh, Mr Rubin is one of the most prominent trainers in martial arts because they come from families where moms sell drugs fathers not to drink and they have no reference of authority and they destroy their life because they come from families that are in crisis the practice of sports they give us a sense of working in team and when they win Mr. Rubin says the same way that you win in this sport you can be a winner in your life you yeah. can be a winner in your life and you have to use this enthusiasm also in how to solve your problems and how to be a good citizen muy excelente esa parte Juan en el cual tú canalizas por la parte deportiva que ellos consigan 
tener logros ya de que vienen de familias disfuncionales donde el papá es ladrón o bien es alcohólico, la mamá vende drogas. Y cuando ellos asumen un triunfo deportivo, lo pueden aplicar también como un triunfo para su vida personal y alcanzar metas. ¿Algún... Sí, más, más, bien, más bien también este... O sea, ahí se me... Algo te iba a decir, Chacho, ya se me fue. No problema. No problema, no problema. Este, Mike, uh, Rubin has 30 years of experience. Te digo que uh -huh. tú tienes 30 años de experiencia en este rubro y whatever Mr. Rubin is going to make in benefit of the students by applying your programs is going to have an immediate uh, rep repercussion all over the, the other uh, recreational centers. Estoy right. diciendo lo que se efectúe en el centro correccional, ya que tú trabajas conmigo los más difíciles, va a tener un impacto y va a ser eco en los otros centros porque van a verlo con mucho interés. Claro, dile, dile que el, el trabajo con estos chicos es este... Es buscar la solución del mismo problema. Es como sacar el antídoto del propio veneno, ¿no? Ya. Yeah. Uh, he wants to take the antidotes from the same poison. The kids are in such a situation in which uh, Juan, Mr. Rubin, tries to be focused on... My God. My God. Yeah, mute again. again. Okay. Uh, Enrique, you're mute. Listen, man. Yeah. Okay, while you figure out your technical stuff, can we hear from Jesse? Jesse, what, what do you think so far? And and uh, and then we'll and then get to Katie and then we'll get to Lolly. What, what do you think about helping them out and all the different things that they're going through? Yeah, so after listening to the conversation with Mr. Enrique and uh, everything that's going on, um, I think that uh, the curriculum uh, that we will be building can help with all three of those. You know, when you talk about teaching uh, conflict resolution, uh, mediation, and those type of skills as well, uh, I have some experience with working with high-risk individuals, um, juveniles, uh, who uh, for the most part need coaching and mentoring and listening uh, about uh, working with these individuals, creating a bond, uh, assisting them um, with giving them the life skills and the information they need to return uh, from Uh, you know, the Behavior Institute back into society to become productive individuals, that's exactly uh, the type of program and curriculum uh, the curriculum is designed to do. I have not heard anything yet that really presents a challenge uh, for uh, myself, uh, you know, uh, of us moving forward with assisting these young men and in the future young women Uh, with educating them in conflict resolution and um, and other classes that, uh, you know, that I feel that, uh, you know, they could benefit from. Uh, so when you talk about building a rapport uh, in the process, that is what all of this is about, is to build a rapport so that they know that we care and know that the information that we Uh, providing to them is in the best interest uh, to, uh, you know, to help and assist. Now, one of the, the big thing moving forward I intend to do is to take a closer examination of Peru's education system, justice system, their uh, criminal law system, and those type of things to ensure that whatever we develop is in line uh, with those type of system to include the spiritual and religious um, idea as well.
Yeah, I think he's sharing some uh, other photos so you can get kind of an idea. But this is a this is the closest thing I've ever seen to uh, a uh, something that would be very supportive for mediation. Now, this is yeah. when Juan he has a, a Muay Thai uh, martial arts camp in the middle of the jungle. He takes people out there, and uh, they stay in in. Uh, very bare circumstances and they practice and stuff like this and he, he actually trains people when enrique said ab uh about this this is uh an equatorial part of peru and there's some of his people and there's a little bit of blurb about him uh and and you'll notice the kids had the boxing gloves with the muay thai yeah so they, they do a spiritual, they do a physical. They now they're trying to do a, a meditation part and a conflict resolution, which would end up fitting into everything that they're looking for for sure. That when I heard about it, yeah, very much so. So I I think, uh, and I, I you know I can't speak for Katie and them, but I I feel that. Uh, Michael, with everything, with everything that we got and everything that we're doing, this is definitely something that I feel more than comfortable uh, that we can uh, assist and be instrumental in in helping uh, these young men and women moving forward. My, ellos están viendo. He's muted again. Yeah. Uh Enrique, you're muted. Uh, Katie, what do you think what you've seen so far? <laughs> and then we'll go to Lolly. And then Michael, we'll go to Stephanie. Yeah. I think you know me well enough to know that I would that this is the kind of thing that I love. So um yeah, I just made a couple of notes and obviously I've got a million and one questions as always. Um I put in the chat that I used to do voluntary work with adults with um <clears throat> special needs and we used to take them to the local um, Young Offenders Institute and integrate them with the offenders who had been well behaved as a bit of a treat. Um, I loved that kind of work. That's actually what then got me into um, law. And I think where we are is these these kids, if I can call them kids, they they need a place. Everyone needs a place. So siblings need a place. S school kids etc they need a place and and when they don't fit um particularly where it's what we judge them on what society judges them on so their ability to score high on um exams and stuff which is not for everyone it's not for me um I was the ADHD kid with undiagnosed ADHD and never succeeded at school um but I think what these kids need is absolutely someone who believes in them um, Michael, as you'll remember, I've picked up two additional interns because right. I, I just think that they need someone to believe in what they do. And I think that literally has the potential to change their lives forever. Um, and I think also with what Jesse said, I think where we are is there's there's the mentorship, there's the nurturing, there's the support and there's the belief, which is all they need. And then looking at, again, reinforcing what Jesse's just said, we need to look further into like the education, the justice system the social aspect, the religion, the culture, um, so that we can align with that. Because I think that's probably going to be our biggest challenge is trying to actually really understand the core of what this issue is with these kids. Because we're not going to, we can't rock up, we can't rock up there just as another teacher and and start dictating what you should and shouldn't do. We need to actually go in there and really inspire these kids with what what we're doing it has to be different which was why I was asking about the rehabilitation and the educational side of it I think this needs to have a, a different slant it needs to slot in it needs to fit into the educational side of it but I think it needs to come from a very different angle because I think this is the the bit that's going to inspire them so right. I hope that makes sense. a waffle a lot I'm really sorry no no I think you're exactly right I, I think this is just a missing slice of the pie that they don't have right now. So this would actually help. And then if you just did what we were going to do without anything else, it may not be that successful. But if you put this together with what they're already doing, you got a really good shot of being uh, having tremendous success. You know, when Enrique was saying how you could expand this to all over, 
seriously speaking, when people see that you have success, now that's not to say that every single detention center in Peru is running like what Juan's doing. I, I don't know if that's the case, but I mean, serious, if it is, this could become a model of what you need to do is you try to look at the whole person, not just the academic side, not just this side, but you want to take care of that that whole person. And, and I think that's what we're doing here. Uh, Lolly, well, yeah, go ahead. In the last picture that Rudin has sent me, the practitioners of my time, they are uh, innate. They are right now trainers. Les estoy diciendo que las fotos son de chicos que han sido internos, que actualmente ya tienen sus gimnasios y promueven cultura de disciplina deportiva. Son empresarios. They are entrepreneurs. Uh, let me show you another picture, Mike. Uh -huh. Ellos están muy contentos, Mike, con el tipo de este de logro que has tenido en la parte deportiva con todos estos chicos y aparte de desarrollar fe con ellos, ¿no? Estos son fotos muy especiales en el sentido de que aquí podemos apreciar, ¿no? Acá está con los padres de familia. Sí, explícale que ahí estamos trabajando con las familias, no solamente, ahí son dos chicos de la correccional que entraron a trabajar como agente de seguridad de la Municipalidad de San Miguel. Ah, ya, en this picture, two uh, of the inmates are now uh, working as professionals in the security area of the city hall of San Miguel, where Mr. Rubin has it has a, a positive change, but right now, as Jesse, as uh, Kathy says, they are going, uh -huh. yeah, acá, uh, there are two members who are now uh, part of the uh, vigilance of the security of the citizens in the neighborhood where the uh, correctional center is uh, located. These people have changed their life thanks to my uh, Rubin. I see the expression of happiness in your face, Rubin. Veo la expresión de felicidad en tu cara porque se está integrando estos dos muchachos a ser parte de la seguridad ciudadana en el distrito donde justamente está el mismo centro correccional. Uh, there are, uh, acá uh, there are ladies. Es el colegio uh, que hicimos. Uh -huh. This is a school that Juan los, can go lo, for the children de los terroristas, ¿no? Los hijos de sí. los huérfanos so, de los terroristas. Eh, tenía, hay 70 huérfanos que eran con, eh, resultado del terrorismo y narcotráfico de esa zona. Uh -huh. Juan make a school to help 70 uh, orphans that have lost their parents because of terrorism and drugs or cartels. And these people right now are professionals. Mike, uh, Jesse, and Bear Katy. And definitely, uh, we are very happy and proud that you are interested in everything that we can develop in Peru. Uh -huh. These are students to practice uh, martial arts with Mr. Uh, Rubin. Mr. Martial I'm sorry. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, we're going to probably have to wrap this up real quickly in a moment, and uh, we'll get back with you because we're having a meeting Saturday. To try to get Go ahead. Yes. Michael, you asked you asked Alex to um share with you where she was. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Please. Just I know she's at work, so I just didn't want her to miss out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, don't worry. I am um I'm still at work, but yeah. It, obviously, you all know that I work in the field of criminal law and I work with youths every day. Um, I find myself before the youth court on most days now dealing with children who just need help. So obviously, this is something I'd be really interested in. Um, obviously, from my point of view, I would just need to understand their legal system a little bit more. 
um because obviously i i would go off the basis of how the uk deal with use and i assume it's very very different in peru um yes. so that's just a concern i would have it not that it's a, a, a big concern it's nothing negative i would just need to know a little bit more about that um and obviously i can share with them what happens um if you continue to offend um that you'll be dealing with you know much more serious charges and you'd be tried as an adult um and the punishment is a lot is a lot worse so hopefully they can use um techniques and skills that we can share with them to prevent that happening um obviously on daily basis i deal with adults who have come right the way through life you know started as a youth and it's just been the re- what we call the revolving door um mm-hmm. it's never ending and unfortunately no matter how minimal and you know the crime is not that not that serious to an extent i've had one in the past few days that's been sent to prison for over a year for a string of shoplifting offenses and you know if he would have just been able to knock that on the head and first or second attempt he wouldn't have found himself where he is now but he just doesn't have the ability to cope with things the way that um well us as mediators would be able to share that them skills better but yeah i'm really excited and i'm happy to um help as much as i can perfect thank you Alex. welcome uh, Mike, is Barbara yeah. wants to say hello to the group. Barbara, please. Yeah, People yeah. Welcome and give us an opinion about the job that Mr. Rubin is doing. Barbara va a hablar acerca del trabajo que estás haciendo acá en el Perú, Rubin. Yeah. Barbara, uh, hello, hello to everyone. Sorry, I'm late. I've been at work. I'm in transit right now. Um, but I am so impressed with um, Juan's uh, work with the, with the youth. He has a real heart for it and a gift for it. And um, I'm not sure who the last person was that was speaking, um, but um, you deal with, with youth in the UK. Um, I, I And you talked about a revolving door. I think that this is one way to stop that. Really, it's yes, what, what, better, what, what, better, what better life skill can you give a troubled youth than the ability yes. to deal with, with the very thing that put them behind bars in the first place? So um, I, I think, yeah, I think it's, I'm excited about it because, you know, I, I've dealt with, with troubled children also, and it's, they have such potential. If you can just overcome those issues that keep them reoffending. So um, I'm, I'm thrilled about it. I think that Juan and Juan's experience and Mike's ideas and with all of you um, and the experience you have, I, I think it can make a change in the lives of a lot of you. Thank Barla you, dice que gracias a tu experiencia y al empeño de Mike, a la, a la entrega que tú le das a tu trabajo, y tú tienes una gracia, dice Barla, de que tú, eh, Juan, encuentras el potencial que tienen los chicos, sabes descubrir el potencial. Mike, eh, Mr. Rubin can unleash the potential that each Teenager has. And oh yeah. He he has thirty years in this. Um, I want to listen to Stephanie' opinion. Even yeah, yeah, yeah. I, Thank you, Stephanie. Could you speak both in English and Spanish, please? First, speak Spanish, then come English. And wait, uh, wait, uh, Spanish, Stephanie, por favor. Yeah, so of course. So I'm also at work, but. I really like this. I feel like we've done mediation for such a long time and seeing how it's heading now and mm-hmm. how it's about youth and what we could do for younger people. I really, really enjoy it. And I think it's going to make a great breakthrough. Estaba diciendo que hemos hecho mediación por tanto tiempo y para expertar con los niños menores y es algo diferente que no hemos hecho, entonces me encanta que vamos a ir en un diferente lugar y experienciar todo lo que podemos. Gracias, Stephen. Stephanie, yeah. gracias. Yeah, uh, thank you, Steph. Yeah, see, I think the program, and I hadn't told Katie and all them yet, but we're going to be using some of their people that we're, that we're using for their interns to help us out on this deal. And this will help out in peer mediation and they can have mentoring with uh, people their own age from another part of the world that can speak their language. No problem. Ma, este, Juan, palabras finales para despedir al grupo, por favor. Yeah. Yo te voy a dar detalles de lo que vamos a conversar. 
Yeah, we're going to yeah. have to leave because it's bueno, really late. Básicamente, agradecerles por su tiempo, el, el, el agradecerles por el interés que tienen también en, en cómo de alguna manera apoyar al trabajo que venimos haciendo con estos jóvenes este, que vienen cumpliendo una medida socioeducativa por una infracción que cometieron, ¿no? Pero creo que se les puede dar una segunda oportunidad y ellos pueden ser parte de, de la solución. Ah. Mr. Rubin says that he appreciates a lot your time, your commitment, and supporting um, the work that he is developing in Peru because teenagers deserve a second chance to improve their lives. God bless you, Mike. God bless you, Kathy. Dear right. uh, we want to listen our friend in the UK for her farewell. Yeah, Katie, you want you want to say goodbye? Yes, thank you so much. Thank you, everyone, for your time. And I'm really excited about this project, like really excited. It's kind of a dream for me, working in child okay. development for 17 years and now where I am. So thank you. <laughs> thank you for involving me in this opportunity. And I'm really looking forward to seeing how it plays out. Thanks. Thank, thank you, everyone. Thank you, Lolly. Thank you. Uh, Jesse, we'll, we'll end with you. What, what do you want to say, Jesse? No, I, I, I feel the same way as everybody else. I appreciate the, you know, the opportunity to, uh, to share experience and to not only teach, but also to learn as well. Uh, you know, myself, uh, I consider myself a late in life learner, uh, but I, I do enjoy uh, helping uh, coaching, mentoring, uh, and, and I enjoy people. Um, um, I am a strong believer in second chances. Uh, I, I, I love what uh, this project, uh, you know, and uh, and look forward to uh, being a part of it. Chancho, las últimas fotos, las últimas fotos que te he mandado es el chico que me trajeron de California para tener su tratamiento aquí en Lima. Ajá. Mike. I want yes. you, I invite you to watch the last set of picture, please. Just a minute. Okay. Uh -huh. Are you going to select with mama? Su mama? Ahorita lo vas, ahorita lo vas a sacar. Sí, el chico sale. This is with um, another leader of a native group in this are kids that like, okay. are uh, native a student there we take social support uh he's from india no sí. hey let's see this is a lot of beautiful picture mike uh, mr rubin takes the equipment he uh, takes teachers to those places in the jungle Avanza. Avanza. And Jesse, he has a lot of connections avanza. to other countries. Avanza. Avanza. Mira, ese chico sigue avanzando. Espera. Sigue, sigue avanzando. Sigue avanzando. Espera. Espera. Donde sale el chico con su mamá y yo. Yeah. Sí, yeah. no, hay una foto que te acabo de mandar, donde sale el, el joven, yo y la mamá. No Era. sé si la ha subido, recién no, última, te la he subido. Ahí la pasó. This is a, uh, to finish, there is a special picture, Mike. Wait, wait. No la ha no la subido todavía. No, yo ya te la mandé a tu WhatsApp. ¿Ahorita? Sí. No, esta es la última. Ah, ya, esta es. Sí, esa. Mira lo que dice uh -huh. ahí, pues. Can you read? Yes, it says, back from Peru, my son will be a Black Dragon Peru School. Thank you, God, for giving me strength. Uh, ahí tenemos una garantía de lo que Juan ha hecho, ¿no? Por este chico americano. He is from California. He came with sí. his mom. 
um, Mr. Rubin provides him all of his experience to save uh, transform his life. My God bless you. God bless okay. Jesse. God bless Katie. God bless uh, Stephanie Barla. Thank you for your presence. Um, Ma, es, Juan, estamos por muy buen camino. Toda la gente está involucrada en trabajar contigo. Las fotos han sido espectaculares. What do you think about the pictures, Mike? ¿Qué piensas oh, de las fotos? Really good, really, really good. Uh, thank you so much, and and we will see you. Uh, talk to you ne early next week. Okay. Bye. Bye, bye, everyone. Bye, bye. 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 Bye, b